male complainant states a male at location threatening cut him with a knife. Third male, black, white shoes, blue pants, white shirt. Last week, we got hold of a police scanner, and we spent the day driving around New York and chasing down as many dispatches as we could. The idea was that in its own squelched, frantic way, the police scanner presents the rhythms of the city. Five housing units pick up an occupied truck elevator. Sort of a hidden layer, only a fraction of which ever winds up making the news. We started out in Midtown. Then at 10.05, a call came over the breaking news pager reporting a male shot on Lexington Avenue near East 111th Street. But when we arrived at the location, there was nothing. Hey, officer, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Good. There was a report of a male shot on East 110th Street? There was no male shot. It came over the radio, but it was unfounded. Nothing. It was unfounded. That happens a lot? Yeah. So we resumed roaming. Sensual advice, audition, okay. Then the pager reported shots fired in downtown Brooklyn on Borum Place. Seems a man tried to break into a light blue 2009 BMW, but he was confronted by the car's owner, who was a probation officer working nearby. Plain clothes on top of him, huh? holding the gun to the back of his head, yelling at him. Oh. So then the guy on the car, he was holding the gun on his back. He put him on the snow. Nobody was shot. A shot was fired, right. but nobody was hit. Shot. They caught him trying to steal the car. Not exactly CSI material. So we went back to roaming. Heavy traffic, scattershot locations, sifting through jargon and emergency codes, all made this assignment challenging. We headed toward the location the dispatcher gave for a suicidal EDP on East 115th Street. An EDP, emotionally disturbed person, is one of the more frequently heard calls on the police frequencies. This suicidal EDP happened to be at a counseling office in a public housing project. We beat the police cruiser and ambulance there by 10 minutes. Then we followed them inside. Hey, you guys are good? She basically said that all, like, she just wasn't feeling well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that's how it came over. But everything is, yeah. everything is fine. Back in the car, the pace of the calls was quickening. We chased a report of a crime in progress in a nearby path mark on 125th Street and Lexington Avenue. Supermarket security and the police had collared a shoplifter. Nothing is boring in Harlem. And outside the market, a man in a green Statue of Liberty costume handed out promotional materials, and a group of women talked smack about the shoplifter. They do that sometimes. I, I don't know. It's crazy in here. Princess Oh, really? Do you have Vicious Raccoon at 2312 2nd Avenue. We heard, a, we heard a report that there was a vicious raccoon over on uh, 2nd Avenue, 118th Street. So this, this, is, this is a real uh, job. Yeah, I mean, we actually saw most of his body was, you know, a nice size. Yeah, so... And he came down, he was scared, and he came back, and yeah, he ran back up? Yeah. He probably got through one of the, uh, you know, uh, orifices of the building or something like that. Is it the first time you've ever had that? Yeah, problem? of course, yeah. Everybody was like, whoa, I've never seen one, yeah. I'd rather something fuzzy than something without a tail, or without a fuzzy tail, so... Yeah. Next, we headed to a call for a fire at Park Avenue and 95th Street. A little Street. bit of smoke goes into his apartment. Oh, a guy was using his fireplace? Yeah, and the smoke goes into his apartment, that's it. The scanner kept going. He's promoting prostitution in front of the location. Male Hispanic wearing a red vest that says cheater. Exactly is responding to box 2299. <laughs> A lot of these things, uh, the fire calls, just, just don't pan out as fires. And it's interesting, this neighborhood, though, it did seem like the people are very interested in the firemen, and the firemen are staring at the people. And yep. It's Lower East Side nightlife here. Third party caller said their friend texted them on, I mean, you know, wrote them on Facebook. They said, please call 911 and put her apartment at 3 William on a third floor, and her last name is Williams. Sergeant Wright, can anybody advise? We have the complaint on the victim. 